All right, quick overview of a Fordson Major drawbar assembly and all its features for adjustment and quick removal. Um, so I'll start off with the drawbar itself. I've put a trailer hitch on it. Makes it easy for towing farm trailers around. Now if you need to offset this drawbar because you're running something off the PTO or you need to offset a plow or something like that, very easy. Pull out a pin and you can offset it left, right in monumental increments. Or if you need to increase your turning circle or tighten it up, you can keep this swinging while you're towing something and it will move as you turn. This part is removable. If you have a look in there, you can see a pin, if it'll focus for me, that pin there, that can come out. And with these grooves and dips in it, you pull it backwards and out it comes. And then anyway, you can use this for attaching implements as well or a chain to remove something. Now, to help with height adjustment, you've got the plate with the three levels here and the pin. Now, when I acquired this major, didn't have a drawbar assembly. I was very fortunate to get one at a good price from a Rickers. However, no side plates. I bought these online, delivered to my house with the pins. Very cheap, very affordable. However, there are designs out there on the internet of where you can make them yourself if you're that handy. I just wanted something quick and easy and that'll take the weight. Over here, this side, again, you know, that's why you need the two bolts. And it comes, plate like that. And that's the plate. Now I'll put the camera up and I'll just take this pin out of here. Bear with me. Right, so if I take the weight off it, pin out, then the assembly drops just like that. Right, now let's go have a look at the underside. So, where it attaches underneath the tractor, just here. You've got this here, which is where it's bolted on, and that comes part of the tractor rear end. Um, but you've got this mounting plate here, and the four bolts which go in it. As you see, I've got a bit of an oil leak at the moment. Now, to enable the draw bar to go up and down on that adjustment plate at the rear, You've got this pin going through. So to remove this pin will allow you to drop this off without having to unbolt the mounting plate. Again, depending what application you've got on your tractor. So I pre-loosen this. Again, this is just to lock in to the rod so it doesn't fall out. There you go. If we go around the other side, I'll be able to tap it out. Be able to tap it out. Just see it in here. Again. That's 
That's one side dropped out. Now, go around the other side. I might be able to wiggle it out. You can see, that's it there. Yep, so it's loose enough and all up enough so I can wiggle it out, take the weight. Down it drops. So that's the groove there that that locking bolt and bracket goes into to stop it coming out. Um, again, you can make these yourself if you had the lathe and the ability. I was very fortunate that mine came with it. So if we move around the back now. We should be able to pull that out. There we go. Drawbar assembly. And pin back in to allow adjustment. All right, just a quick one. That is the drawbar assembly and its features of a Force and Major.